we're making sticky toffee pudding. Hi everyone, welcome to Black Cat Kitchen. I hope you're doing well. Today we're making that English classic sticky toffee pudding, but we're making individual ones instead of one large pudding. In most cases, with an individual sticky toffee pudding, you wouldn't steam it, you'd bake it in the oven, and you lose some of that delicateness and the softness of the pudding. Today I'm going to show you how to steam your individual puddings in the oven. So let's get started. See the description below for a list of ingredients. Preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's start prepping our individual pudding tins. You'll want to trace your individual molds on a piece of parchment paper. Cut your ring slightly smaller and then cut a slit in the center of your circle. That will allow the steam to escape. You'll want a large deep roasting tin to set your pudding cups into. You can use a muffin tin if you haven't got pudding cups. Grease all of the insides of your pudding cups with some butter, like this. Once buttered, sprinkle the inside of your pudding cups with some of your dark brown sugar. This will caramelize and add flavor to your puddings. I have 200 grams of chopped dates. Add in one teaspoon or five grams of baking soda and to that, 200 milliliters of boiling water. Just give that a little stir and set it aside for 10 minutes. Into our bowl goes 75 grams of softened unsalted butter and 60 milliliters of black treacle. You'll want to cream this together until it's nice and smooth. If black treacle isn't available where you live, you can use blackstrap molasses in its place. This recipe even works with golden syrup, so don't fret. In goes 50 grams of dark brown sugar, and we're going to stir this until all of the lumps are gone and it's nice and smooth. And now we're going to add two eggs, one at a time, stirring to combine after each. Set this aside while we finish preparing our dates. I'm using the small bowl of my food processor and we're going to add in those dates and the water and puree them until they're nice and smooth. Here we have our nice smooth date puree. I like my date puree very smooth because I don't like bits in my sticky toffee pudding. You can do this with a food processor, a blender, or a hand emulsifier, but if you haven't got any of these, just chop them as fine as you possibly can before adding the water. To our wet mix, we're adding 150 grams of plain or all-purpose flour, two teaspoons or 10 grams of baking powder, and just a pinch of salt. This will help balance the sweetness. Combine this together, and now it's time to fold in our date puree. And this is what your batter should look like fully combined. We're going to fill our pudding cups just above halfway. Now we're going to top each of our puddings with the paper circles we made earlier. With your rectangle of foil, you'll want to make a fold just slightly off center and then fold that back towards the center, creating your flap. This allows your pudding to rise up and there's room for it to grow as it's steaming in its little pot. And you'll just want to pop it on the top and tightly seal around the edge of your pudding cup. If you're using a muffin pan for this, I would recommend covering the entire thing in aluminum foil before putting it in your roasting pan. Once all of your puddings are covered, take a large piece of foil and cover your entire roasting pan, leaving one corner open so that you can pour in your hot water at the oven. Pour water from a boiling kettle into your pan until the water comes halfway up. Then seal down the rest of the foil so you've got a good seal all around your pan. Those will take about 30 minutes in the oven. While those are steaming, we'll make our sticky toffee sauce. Into a saucepan goes 150 grams of unsalted butter, 300 grams of dark brown sugar, and 30 grams of black treacle. Turn that onto a medium low heat and let it start to melt together. Once that's all melted and combined together, add in a pinch of salt and 200 milliliters of double cream. Combine that all together and then turn up the heat until it starts to bubble. Stir regularly so it doesn't burn to the bottom. Once it starts to bubble up and you can see that steam coming off, it's nice and hot, you can take it off the heat. Be careful taking the foil off, it can be very steamy. I like to move my puddings from the water bath to a board and I'm just going to test it by piercing it with a skewer. If it comes out clean, it's done. While the puddings are still hot, carefully remove the foil and the parchment paper. Give them a few pokes with a skewer. Now we're going to pour some of that toffee sauce on top so that it starts to soak into those holes. You'll want to pour about a tablespoon on each one. These are best enjoyed warm, but not hot. So let them cool for about 30 minutes. To demold, we're going to run our knife along the side of our pudding a few times. You can see it's starting to spin there. 
and then just flip it over onto our plate. I like my sticky toffee pudding with custard. Make sure to subscribe for my custard recipe coming up soon. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. We'll see you next time.